So good afternoon. This is Beto from UC San Diego Create. We're glad you can join us today. Today we're going to talk about atoms and molecules. And so I know times are pretty crazy right now. There's a lot of different things going on. Uh, but we want to make sure that you're still learning your science because you're going to move on. And when you get back to school, you're going to go in a different school year. So without further ado, we thank you because we're going to take about 15 minutes today to talk about atoms and molecules. And so who is familiar with atoms and molecules? Okay. I see you are. You too. Okay. Maybe not as much as you want to. All right. Great. So that's not a problem because today that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about atoms and molecules and the importance of understanding what atoms and molecules are and how to have fun with atoms and molecules. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about atoms. And so when I say atom, I'm not talking about your cousin Adam. I'm not talking about Adam and Eve. I'm talking about Adam, A-T-O-M. So an atom is really just uh, think of, of a unit of building. And so, so everything is made up of individual atoms. And so atoms are so tiny that you can't see them with your eyes, but everything is made up of atoms. And so when we start putting atoms together, then we start forming molecules. And so you can have individual atoms of hydrogen or oxygen or any other type of element but when you put those together, you start to create molecules. So molecules are more than one atom being put together. And so for, for the sake of not losing your sanity today, when we talk about molecules, we're gonna build them, but we're gonna have a, a little bit of more fun building them today. And we're gonna use marshmallows. So mom and dad, I hope you, when you went out to go get your groceries for the week, you could have got one of these. These cost about $1.50 at Food for Less or Albertsons or one of those stores. And in addition to that, if you have more than one kids at home and they love to eat cocoa, you should have probably got some white ones too because we're going to use these. And every individual color that we have in here is going to represent a different type of atom. What we want you to understand and take away with is that these are things that you're interacting with daily. So when you see the little house that's listed here on the bottom of each shape, uh, that's made to ask you, where do you think you see these molecules at in your home? right? So what, what is the, the common name for them? How do we interact with them? And so uh, one of the first ones here that I see is, is water. And so before we build the water molecule, you might have wondered before why we call water H2O. And so today when we build the structure, you're going to see exactly why. Now, the other more important thing that I want to make sure that I tell you is that for, for the sake of today's lesson, these are not marshmallows. These are science equipment, science materials. Okay, so please do not eat these as you're handling them, as you're playing with them, especially nowadays because there's too many germs going around. And so just treat them like you would any other type of science equipment. And I'm pretty sure that when you're done and you wash your hands that your mom will be more than happy, or your dad will be more than happy to hook you up uh, with a couple of marshmallows for you to eat for doing good and for staying seated as long as you have and for just being cool, all right? So hang with us. Hang with us. So one of the first ones that we're going to build, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to build one, but I'm really not going to build one right now, is I'm just going to open up this bag here. And so these are, you, can, you can basically put these on any kind of paper plate or any hard surface. You can put it on your mom's really cool table that has the plastico over it, right? Uh, probably the same plastico as your grandparents' sofas. But that's besides the point. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just grab a couple of different connections, grab a couple of different atoms here. And so the other thing I want you to understand is how these atoms combine together, right? And so uh, for, for today's lesson, we're going to say that they're connected with these things called bonds, right? Bonds. So what we're looking at right here is I'm just pretending like I'm building something. And so let me do it again so you can see. So I'm going to take a green marshmallow. You really can't see that this is a green one, but that's a green marshmallow. I'm going to stick a toothpick in it. And if you're, if you're not doing really good with toothpicks, if you got just a little bit of toothpicks, feel free to cut them in half. Uh, feel free to use spaghetti if you need to. That works just fine. Um, you know, ask your mom for permission first, though, before you tap into the spaghetti. And so what I'm going to have now is I have this bond with this one atom on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and add another one 
on the end there. And so what we have here is the chlorine bond, which I just built. Looks like a barbell, right? Yeah. So this chlorine bond, where do you see chlorine at at home? Where? Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, yes. We use chlorine in, uh, in pools, if you're lucky enough to have a pool at home. But if you're not, maybe your mom uses it for laundry, right? Yes, right now, exactly. Right now, we're using it a lot to clean up, to disinfect different types of surfaces. So the chlorine molecule looks like this. It looks like this. And so what you'll have is a bunch of different chlorine molecules combining together. And that's how you get what we actually get to see as chlorine. So that's one example. The next example that I want to show you, and I'm going to pretend like these are different colors because I don't want to open up the other bags. Uh, H2O, we've heard of H2O oftentimes again, and you probably want to, well, why do you call water H2O? How does that even make sense, right? And so the reason is, is because there's two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And so when these come together, what they end up looking like is something like this. Now I'm going to pretend uh, this green one is my hydrogen and I'll go ahead and add the first bond to it like that. And then I'm going to pretend like this yellow one is my oxygen and I'm going to connect it like that. And so right now I have one to one, right? I have one oxygen, one hydrogen. And so I'm now going to add the second hydrogen to it to make it H2O. And so the way that connects is as such. So now I just built an H2O molecule. So the way this looks when we're talking about water and how we see water is that you'll have, and I'll build, I'll build another hydrogen oxygen molecule real quick for the sake of this video here. And so what happens is that the polarity, meaning the positive or the negative side of one atom on here is going to connect to the other side. And so essentially you have a bunch of these things being connected as such. And all of these together allow for the water to pull together. And, and this is really part of the reason why when you see a droplet of water has that that tension, the surface tension, right? Or when you spill some water, it all follows and pulls itself together uh, is because they have these really strong bonds together that allow for them to, to really influence one other. And so, so that's pretty much it. The other one that I wanna show you real quick is, uh, is a really cool one. People love this one. You do this one all the time and you don't even know. But this just goes to show you how prevalent science is, right? Chemistry is everywhere, science is everywhere. And so this last one that I wanna show you is called the methane molecule. How many of you know what methane is? Are you familiar with methane? You, you, yes, you. Ask your brother, ask your brother if he knows what methane is. Go on, ask him. Oh, he doesn't know, okay. Well, check this out. We're gonna tell you right now, we're gonna build the methane molecule. So methane is uh, comprised of carbon and four hydrogens. And the way that methane looks is like a big X or a big plus sign, right? And so basically this is the way that it looks here. And then for the sake, for the sake of this video, uh, for, excuse me, for this molecule, I'm gonna pretend that yellow is the carbon and these green ones are the hydrogen, and I'm pro probably not following the instructions that I have on my sheet here for this sample, but it should look like this. Should look like this. And so methane, what's really interesting about it is you're probably producing a lot of methane at home right now since you don't have much to do, you're probably at home eating a lot, and methane, my friends, is a perito. That's gas, yeah that stinky gas that your little brothers, that your little kids have been doing, right? And so methane is just that. It's a perito. So we just built a perito in science, a perito molecule. We built a chlorine molecule. We built a water molecule. And that's pretty much it.
So feel free to go uh, acquire this, this attachment that we had right here, uh, the handout that's available online with us. And, and you know, take an hour, take, take 15 minutes, take 30 minutes, have fun with those marshmallows, uh, start learning a little bit more about science because before you know it, boys and girls, uh, we're going to be moving on to the next grade in our academics, and we want to make sure that you're staying in tune with your science, that you're trying to understand uh, the basic components of chemistry and science so that you can build on, build on that when you get back to school. So thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to, to reach out to us via social media or email uh, listed down here. And, uh, and we'll be more than happy to get out to you. So uh, looking forward for you to join in us next week as we do something else. Uh, have a good time.